Uh, this game is, should be really hard for the Jin. They have Fiddle Sticks and Malphite. Oh yeah, I should probably... Update the stream title. Okay, so he's running standard thresh runes. Actually, he's not. What is he running? He only has 30, M 30 MR. What are you running? Is this like full HP? What are your... Or, uh, mana region? I don't know. Are you running like mana region stuff? Actually, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try my best. Oh, but that's not gonna... Because sometimes when you post the, post these um, bad files... Sometimes when you like post them or when you wind back... It freezes the complete thing. It just freezes and won't uh, like keep working no matter what you do. So I'll try my best not to pause it or rewind it. So sorry, sorry, but... Yeah, rather make it like, like better sound than nothing, right? Against Tarek, Tarek Lucian. I don't think your, your level 2 is probably not better than theirs, so you should just push for level 1, level 2 I mean. Yeah, though, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that was a pretty bad trade from Tarek. Well, th this guy is running Thunder... Yeah, this guy is running Thunderlords. Jin, that's pretty legit. Oh, CDR. Yeah, that's right. 12.5% level 1. That's interesting. Not something I would run, but hey, if it works for you. So they hit level 2 first. I'm pretty sure you don't want to fight level 2. I'm trying to figure what power, power spikes would be better for you. Because level 2, the, the Lucian has his Q and dash, plus the double auto attacks, and this guy. Ha oh, you're still going in. Oh, I didn't even see him. I'm so. Oh, that was nice, that was nice. I didn't even see Nocturne, that was my bad. I thought, what the hell? Are, what the hell are you doing? But yeah, I didn't even see this guy. Why is he even ganking at this health? Yeah, but I think the ignite came in a little bit too early because you don't know if this guy. Oh, I just paused it. Because you don't know if this uh, you're gonna hit this hook. But yeah, this was a pretty good. Um, uh, what's it called? Prediction, because he has to flash. He has to flash to uh, survive that. So yeah, that was a good uh, prediction. Yeah, keep pushing the lane. Make sure they miss as much farm as possible. When I, when you're this far ahead, I would even go for boots and just keep the uh, ruby crystal because if you can just uh, keep forcing fights, um, you're just going to win them no matter what. Because now uh, Jin has pickaxe and call, and this guy only has Dorrance and longsword. So at this point, pretty much no matter what you do, uh, you should be winning these fights. So long as you get to engage them. So taking boots when you get like early kills, um, you should maybe think about that. It's something what I really like to do. Just ignore the sights, don't go for CDR boots rush, or even uh, Swifties. I don't think you should be this afraid. Like, if I was you, I would probably just walk up here. Because at this point, there's nothing they can do. As long as you hit your hook there, uh, there's no way you are ever going to lose trades against these guys any again. And he's only Fiddlesticks. He he Fiddlesticks needs level 6 before he gets to gank anything. Yeah, I use mana region. I have like 2 to 2.3 extra mana region on my runes. Just to make sure I don't run auto mana in, in lane. Keep as much pressure as I can. 
I feel like you're not using the bush bushes uh, as much as you could. They don't even have any long range like um, CC, so you can uh, zone them really well from the bushes. You can see Phil sticks top. Like this is when I would just walk up. Like, there is no way in hell they are ever going to win trades against you, especially with ignite. Yeah. This guy has a lot of armor though. But even so. You could have maybe hit a hook there. Oh, that was nice. You didn't change the CC properly. Oh, you still got it. But you didn't uh, change the CC properly. Like, if we have a look at this. Yeah, you hit the hook. There's still like half a second of um, this guy's um, root. So what you should have done is you wait for it to go like way lower and only then flay. You probably would have gotten that kill without even flash, within, without a chain flashing if you see it, uh, chain that properly. Yep. I was just about to say you could have hit the hook on Tarek there. This lane's over. When your AD carry is this far ahead, the, you can just do whatever whatever you feel like doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was a little unfortunate. So they get one kill for free, but that's that doesn't really matter. You're so far ahead of this, yeah. The, Lucian dies again. If I was in this situation, if my AD carry was four and one, I would I would not leave this lane until this tower goes down. Like the longer you keep this lane in phase going, the better for you. I don't know why what Shen is still doing here. I don't know what Casio is still doing here. They could have t almost taken the tower already. Oh, he's so fucked. Lender the Luxine. Yeah, you could have Lender in and maybe given Lux the kill, but it doesn't matter at this point, I don't think. Like this game should be over after such a huge lead. Yeah, even now, even more with the Infernal Drake. That was a little bit too ham. Yeah, nice punish. Well, I keep doing this, even though I. You could have done that even before then. You wouldn't have been even in tower range if you flashed on him instantly. I'm pretty sure you can't even kill these guys. Philistis isn't gonna do anything without his ult. I mean, he has his ult, but there's no way he's going to be able to cast it from there. You could have maybe tried to fish a hook on him. Because at this point any any single hook you hit is pretty much a guaranteed kill. Especially since Sarik isn't even level 6 yet. Yeah, you don't need to be you don't need to be this scared, you have a ward here and here. So you know Philistix isn't gonna be anywhere near you. So you can just be like right here and fish for a hook on Sarik. That gets you either better trades or you can maybe even kill him. You even have it ignite, yeah. You might have been even been able to kill him. Yeah, nice predict on the dodge. Yeah, I, I was just about to say, 
I would have just walked back and then thrown the lantern because I know that I would know that both of our cooldowns have been used and Lucian still has all of his. So you don't want to trade anymore, you just want to go back and not take the trade anymore after using all the cooldowns you had. Cedar puts an infinity edge. This is gonna be so brutal. I think I would have, since Jin pr can probably hold his own against them, I would have just maybe walked down mid, put a ward here, here, and maybe if I had seen fiddlesticks I would have warded here, maybe put a pink here. This might sound like really, really ham, but I would have. When my AD carry is this far behind, I'm not. I'm behind. When the, my AD carry is this fed, I'm not afraid of anything. I would have just walked down here and walk, pinked here. I mean, worth it there, so we know if it'll six anywhere near him. Oh, unfortunate. Think that, yeah. Oh, you could have played and then ulted, and Tarik would have been dead. Yeah, focus this guy. Oh. I'm pretty sure he tried to predict the Malphite for, uh, ult. If you did, it was it was a good try, but a little bit off. Nice hook. Yeah, you already knew that Tarek was dead, so I, instead of uh, hooking him, you go for the Lush, um Cassiopeia. There's no way you're losing this, right? Huh? That went not so well. Could have gone a lot better. 4 for 5 with this kind of lead is not a very good trade. I would rush for, for an Aegis this round. I mean, they have 3 AP damages and their AD damage is so far behind. Oh, he's going ham. Oh, that was nice. You see the field? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you still have this. Oh, he got exhausted. Unfortunate. I was pretty sure you still had that. Yeah. You see that the, there's no way hitting this, but uh, Phil Sticks for some reason comes around here. Uh, oh, that's why Gina didn't go for Fiddlesticks He went for the Tarek So yeah, a little bit of a misplay from them Even though you played it pretty well Oh no yeah, You should pin Gina back, back at this point There's no way he's gonna be able to do anything here Oh, he should have tried to go for the pattern steel, uh, dragon steel. Because I'm pretty sure. Because I'm pretty sure that this kind of. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this um, has like an AOE splash effect. I don't know if you were just AFK or what happened here. Oh, I don't know why he didn't. You could have just thrown the lantern and killed this guy. Or maybe it was some cooldown, I don't know. But I feel like you could have just, uh, after hooking him, thrown the lantern here. And Nocturne would have been able to kill him. Although, like, although Nocturne for some reason went this way, I don't know why. Maybe he didn't realize that you hit a hook.
Oh, they're saying old. Yeah, Aegis Rush, that's good. Absolutely correct item to buy. I would even... Maybe... Maybe I would even go for a Crucible Rush here. Because they have like three pretty dangerous uh, stuns or forms of CC with the Fiddle Fear, the Cassiopeia Ult and Tarik. E. So maybe I would even go for after Locket of course. Maybe I would even go for a Crucible third item because their AD damage is really lacking and you don't need to worry about it anyway. You see two in the bot lane, you should definitely go for a push in the, in the mid lane. Or at least get some division here and here. Now, uh, at least so far this game doesn't seem, even seem close to me. Oh, uh, it was somewhere around here when you hit through the hook. I wanna say that was a lucky spell shield because these Nocturne spell shields have been interesting. But whether he still got it. You should get this tower at this point. Like, there's three of you guys and their main form of uh, wave clear is gone. Malf you see the Malphite? You don't need to be so, so afraid, I don't think. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, try to go for this guy, yep. Yeah, these are free. Completely free. I just felt like doing this. After quite a long time. Oh, that was pretty nice. There's no follow up though. I don't think you have enough, enough time to kill it. Oh yeah, you definitely do. Hmm. I think I would be going for, to for the top tower next. Because you don't want to leave the Baron unguarded. That is their only way. The only way they are ever going to come back. In this game, so you ward here, maybe pink here, ward here, and then you go into the uh, top lane because there should be no way for them to win a fight at this point. There's, there's just no way. Oh, I'm running half speed. I guess you... Uh, I don't know, when Baron is up, this is kind of risky, especially since you have absolutely no vision of it. At this point they could even go be right on it, and you wouldn't even know about it. Especially with Cassiopeia and Fiddlesticks, they do it pretty fast. Oh, the Shen, Taunt. Wow, 7 HP. Oh, you tried, you tried. Okay, so a lot of things went down here. It was good try, good attempt. Good attempt uh, to go for the Cassiopeia here. Definitely the right one. Uh, yeah, pretty well played, I would say. Too bad you didn't um, get the flay off before the Ballistics ult went off. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
You should have stayed here. Because now it's a possibility that some of these guys get caught and they might need your lantern to get out. I guess that's gonna be a frozen heart next. Or a six. Well, I mean, I think this game is pretty straightforward. Narleon, thank you very much for the um, follow. Adventuring alone in the enemy jungle is never a good idea. Even if you have flash. Yeah, I still think you just just go top tower to the top tower. Baron is still pretty much unguarded, and you have all other uh, other towers. And this northern is going so ham. Mm. Okay, I guess you can take the free dragon, but I think you should uh, have gone in the mid lane since their main form of this um, wave clear is gone. Other than that and Lucian's calling, there's nothing that can stop you from taking towers. Especially since you're this far ahead. <laughs> They're not gonna kill this guy. Rip. He's gonna hold back. Oh. I was gonna say that I would have tried to hook like right here. Because I knew the fellow sticks was in the bush and he would try to walk back in, but I guess he just wanted to try and go back. Good hook on, hook on the fellow sticks there. Okay, so now, now comes the hardest part. Getting inside the enemy uh, enemy base, but it shouldn't be that hard when you're this far ahead. Actually, with the fiddle sticks that you probably should have just gone for Baron. There's no way they can stop you. So at this point, you should probably either just go for Baron, or you want to make a pick or team fight before doing it. Oh, just a little bit to the uh, left, and it would have hit. Rip. Go for the Tarek. Nice. That should be Baron. When you have the choice between Baron and an inhibitor, you always take the Baron. Because if you somehow manage to fuck up at the inhib, then they can take Baron. Oh, he missed that! He missed the ult! Oh, that nice hook on Lucian. Yeah, this game is over. Since you're this uh, close to the inhib, I guess you can take it. But in general, if you have. Um, a choice between an, in an inhibitor and Baron, you always take Baron. It, it just prevents you from throwing the game even harder. If you manage to throw it somehow. Oh, you tried to get it. The minions, the minions spawned. How does this game still go on for 3 minutes? Oh. I guess because you like tanking the towers for some reason. Yep. I think it's pretty safe to say that this game is over. Yep. Overall your hooks were like really on point. And again, like slight um, tweaks here and there with CC chaining and such, but overall pretty well played. 
I think you could use with taking control of the game. Like when you're this far ahead on Thresh, like this far ahead on Thresh with an AD carry, you just get to decide whatever you want to do. Right? And there's pretty much nothing the enemy team can do about it unless they have like a fetch jacks or something who can, who just uh, solo wins the game. But you could have taken so many free towers, free barons, free stuff all around the map. I think that's the next thing you want to do. Just trying to be the guy to make the calls. And learning what the uh, best calls.